What's going on, fellas? I've got a 2006 Chrysler 300, and I'm gonna use this car to point out to you a few important things about the starting system. So I'm gonna go over two important fuses and the relay. So when you turn the key to the start position, the ignition switch will send power to the starter relay, which is right here. And it sends that power through that five amp fuse right there. So if everything is working properly with the ignition switch, this five amp fuse, you should measure power on it when you're attempting to crank. Now, <clears throat> that five amp power, it comes in on this pin of the uh, relay right there. So the upper left pin. Now that power also goes to the computer. And the computer, when it receives that power, it's basically signaling to the computer that you'd like to start the car. The computer runs through its anti-theft check. And if it detects that your key is valid, and that the engine is not already running, then the computer will actually provide a ground to number 86, which is that pin right there. So you're getting power here and you're getting a ground there to trigger the relay. When this relay is energized, it uses power from this uh, 20 amp J case fuse and it sends that power to the starter solenoid. Now power from this fuse comes in on this pin right there. And when the relay energizes, it sends the power from that pin to that pin, which goes to the starter. So if you'd like to bypass this relay, you can actually connect these two pins together with like a paper clip. And if everything is working properly, then you should see or hear the starter engage. Um, be sure not to do that if your car is in drive. And if you suspect that this relay is bad, feel free to swap it with a different relay. I would suggest swapping it with your horn relay, which is right here. If your horn works, your horn relay works, and so it'd be a good thing to swap in. So yeah, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions.